Michigan Out of Doors Online is brought to you in part by by Red Wing Shoes, located in the shops at Centerpoint in Grand Rapids at the corner of 28th Street and the Beltline. The store has everything you need for the worksite or the woods. Stop in or check them out online at redwingshoes.com. And by Mr. Musky Charters, offering full-service guided fishing trips for walleye, muskie, bass, and sturgeon on Lake St. Clair and the Detroit and St. Clair Rivers. Booking information is online at mrmuskycharters.com. Hey everybody, welcome to Michigan Out of Doors. I'm Jenny olson Silik, and we've got another all new show for you this week. We're gonna take you fishing coast to coast in the Lower Peninsula this week. I'll take you over to Lake St. Clair chasing after some muskies on a stormy day and Jimmy will take us over to Lake Michigan. Well, that's right, Jenny. We do have a few more things on this week's show. I'm able to actually take you to the Port of Holland on this week's show for the Big Red Classic. It's a big salmon fishing tournament, and we're going to be there for the Ladies' Day. You won't want to miss that. Lots of fun. And we're also going to have a really good uh, rainbow trout recipe. You won't want to miss that. We do have a shortened show this week because our PBS stations are in pledge, but it is jam-packed with all brand new stuff from around our great state. Make sure you stay tuned. I'm Jimmy Gretzinger. It's time for Michigan Out of Doors. From the first spring rains to the soft summer breeze Dancing on the pine forest floor The autumn colors catch your eyes Here come the crystal winter skies It's Michigan, Michigan out of doors What a beautiful day in the woods Someday our children all will see This is their finest legacy The wonder and the love of Michigan As the wind comes whispering through the trees the sweet smell of nature's in the air from the great lakes to the quiet stream shining like a sportsman's dream it's a love of michigan we all share michigan out of doors is presented by by country smokehouse a sportsman's meat processor and michigan destination since 1988 offers a variety of homemade smoked meats and michigan made products in store and online the Country Smokehouse features an outdoor barbecue and bar. Details at CountrySmokehouse.com. By G5 Outdoors, makers of the Quest and Prime bows, manufactured and designed in Memphis, Michigan. G5 offers a line of archery bows, broadheads, and accessories on the web at G5Outdoors.com. By Hemisphere Design Works, a Muskegon manufacturer of sportsmen's outdoor products for over 30 years, featuring the terrain line of hard-sided hunting blinds designed for quick setup and removal with quiet operation. For more information and other products, HemisphereDesignWorks.com. Soaking in the rich tradition of Michigan hunting for over 30 years, Vanguard is proud to sponsor our friends at Michigan Out of Doors TV. and maybe work out to 140 and see if we can find cold water. So okay. that's what we're going to try to do this morning. Are you going to uh, target lake trout or salmon or a little uh, bit of both? Salmon, and then we'll put some down low for lake trout and maybe one up top for some steelhead, see what we can find. How's the fishing been lately? Uh, not too bad. So we're uh, hoping it gets better with the kinks coming in uh, this month. Nice. So. Well, we got our ace fishermen here today, right? These you got ladies. it. We got these ladies here. They're good luck. <laughs> Well, it did take us a few hours to find some fish, but the ladies were ready to go. We had a few times where they would tag team the fish, but you know what? That seemed to be working just fine. Don't forget to pump it. That's going to help a lot. How are we going to do this? Where so the going? ladies were supposed to net their own fish, and that was a bit of an issue today. As you can see by the footage, we all were trying our best to make sure the fish, well, that it actually got in the net. Look at that! Right. Holy smokes! Right. That looks awesome! Good job, 
Today we had Heather Grassmid, Holly Gustafson, and KV Lennon on board. Now you may remember KV from a spring turkey hunt we did with her earlier this year. She was a first time turkey hunter and had an all time reaction. It's pounding really, really fast. Good job. Holy Thank smokes. You, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Thank you, Dan. Oh, Thank you. Thank no! Oh my God! I saw the hand behind. Oh my God! I'm hyperventilating. Here, give me that gun. Oh, so I'm gonna hurt myself with it. Oh my God! So when KV said that her and a few friends were going to be doing a ladies tournament, well, I jumped at the chance. I figured it would be a ton of fun and plenty of excitement. Now, Scott works with some of these ladies and just started doing his own charter boat service. Well, I've uh, been fishing since I was uh, 12 years old. I uh, went out with a gentleman named Dick Griffin, uh, who was a teacher in Wyoming. Kind of got uh, hooked on that, did it through college. and. Uh, had a smaller boat and then up, upgraded to this uh, Pursuit 24 footer and been uh, fishing out here for you know 25, 30 years and just love it. Have a full time job at Herman Miller, but uh, this is my part time job. Well, as a part time job, Scott has been getting quite a bit of business this summer. And part of the reason is that when you tie into these fish, well, it is a ton of fun. Wow, we got a little double it. going. Yeah. That's nice. A lot of action. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, there's something there. Yeah, I see it. Oh. Okay, wrong kidding. <laughs> there we go, team. Nice wow. fish. Whoa. Oh my god, nice that king. was cute. Woo! Yes! Yes! yes. Oh my god. Wow. Nice. Uh. You got like the pump on there. I was like, nice job, Captain. <laughs> Woo! A little crazy, but we got yeah, it. Yeah, we got it. We got a mess. We got to yeah, clean up. Let's go. Good job, ladies. <laughs> Little yeah, double, that was baby. A big one. Oh. oh, my goodness. That was cool. What do you think, young lady? That was cool. It took three of us to bring that baby in. <laughs> now, today we were targeting lake trout on the bottom with downriggers and spinning glows, and then had some lines higher in the water column running spoons and a few meat rigs for salmon and some shallower stuff for steelhead trying to cover all our options as we searched for fish. Well, um, earlier this week, the fish were in 85 to 105, and overnight there was a blow, and we figured uh, the water was warmer, so I, I started in uh, 130 and uh, worked our way out a little bit and kind of triggered in on uh, between 120 and 140 was our key area uh, to find some fish today. So we were uh, very fortunate to pick up that king uh, pretty late in the day at about 11.15. The girls are a lot of fun, so it's just a good time. You know, part, part of the thing I like about uh, bringing people out is getting to meet new people and uh, showing people a good time because we've got this awesome resource, Lake Michigan, and uh, it's just a wonderful resource to be out on the lake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Take your time. Pace yourself. I gotta pace myself. I'm not gonna pace it. <laughs> Well, we weren't setting the lake on fire today, but you know what? We had our fifth fish working its way to the boat. So I had Scott explain just how the tournament would look as we made our way in. Uh, so what's going to happen is we're going to do a weigh-in. Um, the top five fish will get weighed in, and we'll uh, figure out where we're on the leaderboard. It's nice that we got five fish to weigh in. Uh, we've got a nice big king, some decent-sized lake trout, and a couple small lake trout, but we'll just kind of figure out where we're in the pack. Today, the ladies' day had 38 boats in total and perfect weather. Now, I like covering these events for a few reasons. One, it's fun to see folks excited to catch fish. And there are more screens and excitement on a ladies' day than most trips on the water. And number two, it's fun to get folks out that don't do this very often and let them see just how much fun and how many people live and love the outdoor lifestyle. Our crew did well. We took 13th place overall and had a great time. The Big Red Classic is a very well-run event, very good tournament, as are many along our coastlines. If you're looking for a fun day on the water, you may want to look into a ladies' tournament near you, here in Michigan's Out of Doors. In this next story, we're going to head out and chase after muskies on Lake St. Clair. Now, it's been kind of a weird year out there, and to top it off, the day we had planned to go with some good friends from the show ended up not being the greatest weather forecast. So we got out there early in the morning to see what we could do before the storms rolled in.
Hey, like I said, we've been out fishing a couple times. I mean, it's been rough this year. Uh, like I said, we're used to 20, 30 fish days, and, uh, you know, the VHS has got it a little bit going. But uh, we're chipping away at them, yeah. so uh, everyone's having a good time out there. There's some nice big fish out there, and, uh, but yeah, hopefully we can beat the waves today and, uh, you know, not get beat up too bad. So, but Where are you heading first? We're going to head over to Stony. We've been, uh, the. I'd like to fish the middle. There's a lot of big fish in there, but the water's clean and it's full of weeds. <laughs> oh, we've been bailing hay for four or five <laughs> days now, guys. Floating weeds everywhere. So, but it looks like the south shore with the south wind is cleaned up, and uh, right. should be a good day. So. We need to get this done before that rain gets. Exactly. In. So let's let's get her fired up. I've been on the lake for 30 years fishing muskie. Yeah. So you know, one for two used to be a great day. You know, then we went. 10 for 12, 20, 30 fish a day, and then back in 06, we got VHS and it knocked it down. You know, the population was just too much, I think, for the lake to sustain. So, or, you know, or it's basically weather factors, something just didn't go right during the spawn and they got stressed and it, you know, it, it knocked down the population. But then we got hit again here uh, two years ago and it took a good chunk of the fish again so uh you know we're, we're missing a few year classes but there's still a bunch of you know 50 plus inch fish out there and uh a lot of 40 so it seems like it took some of the younger fish this time so uh it's kind of interesting we never used to catch many a long time ago we used to catch mostly pike and few walleye then the muskie took over and we, we've seen very few pike during the year so but pike don't seem to be affected by vhs as much as musky, but that's my opinion. I'm not a fisheries biologist, uh, but uh, from what we've seen, and with the intermixing of more pike and muskies spawning closely together, you know, the pike spawn first and then the musky spawn, but I think some of the male pike are lingering around and we're seeing a lot more tiger muskies now. So, and I think just because basically we lost a lot of the Great Lakes strain muskies, a spotted version, and uh, we're seeing, you know, more tigers, which, which are cool in a way because they're a gorgeous fish. They're more aggressive. You know, is it good? Is it good for the ecosystem because they don't reproduce? It's a sterile fish. So, either way, it's a fish. So we just like catching fish. So <laughs> All right, we're gonna get it. after it, eh? We're gonna, get it. We're gonna hit All it right. now. Eric Geider had graciously offered to take our group out today, and as it turned out, we had quite a few musky rookies on board who were hoping for their very first one. Tom, have you caught a musky before? Never caught a musky. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah? This will be good. Excellent. Ken? Never caught one. No. Looking forward to it also. It's going to be a great day. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Eric? Not yet. Pressure. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Just walleye, salmon, and perch. Well, I hate to say yes, I have. I <laughs> Gee, guys, what's the problem? <laughs> only one, only one, just a couple years ago. All right. yep. Normally, the girl would probably be the first one that gets to catch the first fish, but you're the only one that's caught a muskie. I'll and... let these. I'll give these guys a break today. <laughs> I know. As it is. Oh, thank you, brother. All right. You're first up. First up. For your Let's bucket do this. List fish. My bucket list fish. I'm All ready right. to go. All right. Just got to find them now. They're out here someplace. No, <laughs> yep, no, weed, no weeds, good color. So what are you looking for? Uh, basically, we're looking, you know, night, great colored water. You know, it's not clean, but it's not dirty. It's just a little off colored. So, it's what you kind of look for, the bait fish kind of hang in that off colored water, and hopefully the muskies are up a little bit and start to feed. So. Well, nice. Here we go. Fish are a week. I think it's a lot. <laughs> you fighting? Yeah, I can feel a shake of head. Just keep reeling. Just keep reeling. Don't give it any slack. Pull back to him there. Here we go. Come back. Nice fish. Woohoo! Nice fish. Good pick, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh, man. Wow. Yeah, watch this. Oh, oh the macro. No. Yeah, there you go. Yep. There you go. Turn him. Yep. There you go. There's a slime dog. We got it. Sweet. Sweet. There you go. Perfect. Good job, 
Captain. Yay. Nice job, yeah. Captain. Yeah, you've been slung. <laughs> Congrats. Nice, thanks. What wow. do you think, Tom? That was fun. Holy mackerel. <laughs> no more perch fishing. Right to musk. Yeah, so tell me for people who don't even know what, what Greenstone is. Greenstone is a, a cooperative. It's we're, We don't sell the Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. We're not a bank. Um, we're not a savings and loan. We're not a credit union. But uh, we belong to the farm credit agencies. There's like 20 of them throughout the United States. And we're primarily an agricultural lender. We do, um, our biggest thing is, is uh, large farms. So for people uh, like Michigan Out of Doors viewers, what, uh, how are, how are uh, what are you seeing with I that? see a lot, I get a lot of recreational properties, uh, a lot of acreage uh, up in any place in Upper Michigan. Out lower Michigan for that matter, but uh, like five or six guys will go together and form an LLC and they'll all purchase the land together. Um, you know, just be sure that you have all your regulations in place who can come up, who can come up when, and so forth. But yeah, we get a lot of that uh, recreational property. While Tom was basking in the glory of his very first muskie landed, Ken was up next. Unfortunately, Ken had a couple of fish that weren't quite hooked well enough to fight in and had a couple of head shakes and fish that got off. He stepped aside to give Eric a chance at the next fish on. Eric, is this your first muskie? I hope so. We still haven't got him in the boat yet. Oh, he's coming. He's don't, don't let up on him. There he is. Eric was on cloud nine with his catch. After a quick photo shoot, we released the muskie back into the lake and checked the radar for the storms. Good job. First muskie? First muskie. Congratulations. This is awesome. awesome. Very, Very cool. cool. Thank you. Got it. Right. Good? After boating just a couple of muskies, we realized Mother Nature wasn't going to let us stay out on the water. We pulled lines and barely beat this nasty storm into shore. Special thanks to Eric Guider and the entire crew out here today. Another memorable day on the water here in Michigan's Out of Doors. Well, hey everybody, we are here once again at Antlers Fireside Grill in Canadian Lakes. We're here with Jim Wood, chef extraordinaire. And Jim, we are gonna do some basically rainbow trout here today. So I'm excited for this. How do we get started? Well, first of all, we're gonna pan sear it, but you can do it on the grill, bake it, however you want to do it. Um, we're actually going to make kind of a, a summer slaw slash salad that we're just going to put on top of it. Okay. So this is perfect this time of year because we're starting to come into cucumber and tomato and perfect. seasons like that. And now, so with the rainbow trout, do you skin on pretty much all the time or how do you like to do that? Okay, here's how I like to do rainbow trout. I leave the skin on. I eat the skin, not everybody does. Okay. But the skin actually acts as a barrier so you can just take the, um, the meat, the flesh off as soon as you're done eating it, okay. or as soon as you're, you're done cooking it, or you can, you can take it off during the cooking process, or you can eat it like I do. Hmm. So. Okay, cool. Well, how do we get started? Well, we're gonna make the dressing for the salad. To make the salad, start with sour cream, bacon, basil, and a little citrus vinaigrette, and whisk it thoroughly. Next, add in your onions, cucumbers, tomatoes, and a little salt, and you're ready to cook the fish. Go in with the fish here. So I would, I mean, this has got to cook super fast. It's very fast. Yep. A little bit of salt on the skin. Then we flip it over. We can put a little salt on the flesh. You can already see that the skin, you know, skin gets loose. But if let's say it's too hot and the skin's side down, if you do this on the grill, a, a fillet that thin, yeah. you can cook just on one side, you don't have to flip it, skin side down. Doesn't matter how much you burn the skin, unless you really mess it up, you're not gonna, you're not gonna burn any of the actual meat itself. Okay. And this is best with a trout versus? You can do this with trout, salmon. Um, I mean, you could really do it with anything. It's just the, 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 the more intense flavors of trout and salmon seems to go well with um, the vegetables and things here. All right, so 
Now we've done that. I'm flip it over, turn the heat down. And part of the reason that I don't put black pepper on fish mm -hmm. is because if there was black pepper on here, this entire thing would be, it would look, it would appear to be burnt. Huh, okay. And the pepper itself, it is burnt because the pepper will burn. And, but I, pepper's a little bitter and I just, I don't like putting it on fish. Hmm. Well, I would imagine, so if you're gonna do this with salmon or a bigger piece, do you have to, I mean, this is nice having it thin because it just gets yep. done evenly and, and quickly. Yeah. So, fish is done. What is the name of this dish? This is going to be a pan-seared rainbow trout with a summer vegetable slaw. Thanks for joining us this week for Michigan Out of Doors. We've got a lot of fun in store for you as we transition from the end of summer into the fall hunting seasons. We'll take you out for some more musky fishing, show you a couple of kids events, getting kids geared towards the outdoors, teachers geared towards the outdoors. We'll also show you an early goose season hunt, so you won't want to miss that. And if you'd like to know where we are and where we're headed next, you can always visit us online. Well, that's right, Jenny. Online is a great way to kind of keep tabs on us. We're on several of the social media platforms, as well as MichiganOutOfDoorsTV.com. We have full episodes of the show there, all the recipes, lots of good stuff there. And if you are joining us over the next couple of weeks, there's going to be lots of good stuff coming, some good fishing. We just uh, recently got back from a trip jigging for lake trout up in Grand Traverse Bay. You won't want to miss that. Some beautiful scenery up there. And uh, we're going to have a really cool Fred Bear tribute coming over the next several weeks. And it's hard to believe the hunting seasons are just a week or two away. That early goose season is right around the corner. Lots of good stuff coming. If we don't see you in the woods or on the water, hopefully we'll see you right back here next week on your PBS station. Michigan Out of Doors is presented by by Greenstone Farm Credit Services, making recreational land ownership possible across Michigan and northeast Wisconsin. Begin your land financing journey at one of Greenstone's 37 locations or greenstonefcs.com. By the locally owned and operated members of the Michigan Petroleum Association and the National Oil Heat Research Alliance, who provide oil heat with bioheat, a renewable fuel source designed to benefit the home and the environment. Details on the web at useoilheatmichigan.com. By AnglerQuest Pontoons, a mid-Michigan company building boats for fishermen by fishermen. AnglerQuest Pontoons are designed for comfort and functionality. On the web at anglerquestpontoons.com. By Huron Lady River Cruises in Port Huron, offering daily sightseeing trips and private cruises for all ages. Sightseers will experience the International Blue Water Bridge, Great Lakes Freighters, the Fort Gratiot Lighthouse, and more. Huron Lady River Cruises on the web at huronlady.com. Closed captioning provided by Marvo Mineral, makers of Lucky Buck, deer management products including minerals to supplement deer diets year-round to improve health and antler growth. When I want a far away, a dream stays with me night and day. It's the road that leads to my home state. I am a Michigan man.